ladies and gentlemen, ladies, the legendary George Gentry. Buffy the Vampire Slayer, illustrator, illustrator of a number of great books and works, and a guest of honor, officially, of After Comic-Con. 20 years. I know. 20 years. Hold on. Damn you. <laughs> How does it feel, man? That's what? great to be. Oh, here it's, it's great. I, after all I definitely work. recommend it. If you can come on their dime, <laughs> don't turn nice, it down. Nice, nice, nice. What? <laughs> tell me uh, now that you are in this position. What is it, how does it make you feel about your work and everything that you've done to be officially knighted in a sense? That's I mean, I, I, I'm so self-deprecating. I, I really look at it more like, like it, up, was, no, no, it, it was more of a lottery, and I just my number came oh, up pretty much. Come on, that's like that's like death, man. You didn't die. I mean, you've been like no, celebrating. but yeah, but you know, it's it's a process. They have to pick a certain number of people every year, and I just I'm lucky enough to be in that that pick that this pool. year. So yeah. yeah. So tell my viewers what your next work is. We know that Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Yes. Um, is there something new? There is something new. Well, season that. nine is right, coming to an nine. end. Coming yeah. in September, season right. nine will end, and I am doing one of the villain books for DC this September, uh, the Joker's Daughter. Yeah. That'll come out this September for that. And then I'm going back over to the Wheatonverse and doing some more work with Joss. What's it like to work with him? He's good. He's very giving, very open. Um, he's not, you know, tyrannical or, or you know, it has his, it's just so close-minded about anything. He's very open to whatever ideas you have. Even though it's his universe, you definitely get to have a say in it where you want to go. He's like a coach that recognizes great players. Yeah, it's, it's one of those you know? things. It's like you put good people in, in place and let them be good. Don't don't try to curtail them. Don't try to hold them back. Let them do what they do. Of all the characters you've illustrated, who was your personal favorite? Or are you allowed to say that? In Buffy or just in general? In general. I'm, I'm just, I'm one of those guys, I love to work. So, and I remember, because I always hear people ask Stevie Wonder that, that uh, yeah, question. Yeah. Hey, what was the best that's album you did or the song? And he'd always answer, it's the one I haven't done yet. It's the one that's coming. And I always thought, oh, that's such a cop-out. But now, having been asked that question in very much that way, I feel the same way. It's like, I just love working, and the stuff I do now, I, I'm very excited about. It. Can you tell my viewers for a moment about the new villain book that you're working on? Uh, yeah, uh, well, there's just so much I can tell you. Uh, it's the Joker's daughter, and it takes a pre-existing villain this, and really messes with her origin, because of, this is all in commemoration of the second anniversary of the new 52, if right, I'm not mistaken. Right, right. And in that time, they're going to do in September, publish a, a bunch of villain books. And I'm assuming to sort of re-establish or redefine those villains as they are within the new 52, even though they are existing DC villains. So my character is just that. It's pretty much all about her, and you see where her life is and where it comes from in Gotham, and how she plays her role in the new 52. i got to ask you a question I never occurred to me ask before. How do you gear yourself up to draw a woman versus a man? Is there a thought that you have to go through? Uh, I never no, thought about no. that in my entire it's, life. It's more aesthetics, really. You just understand the anatomy being different. Yeah. And once you, you get to that point, there is probably one fundamental thing you, you do when drawing the differences between men and women. With the women, you never complicate the faces. Never put more lines in the face than you have to because they look old and ugly. With the men, it's, it's the opposite. You can go crazy and do as much as you like with the face. But with the women, as a rule, you try to keep it very simple. Does that also translate into maybe less detail, more femininity? Uh, depending on the character, yeah. Uh, less detail because, yeah, there is this unspoken rule that the women, even the ugly women, should look a little more attractive in, uh, in, in their interpretation. So, yeah, it's, I guess it would be a bad, a little bad. Hey, man. I know your time is constrained, but thank Not you for your time. Always a pleasure. Great to see you. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. Okay.